They are an important part of data collection at crime scenes, and they work in tandem with the police department and by extension the prosecution branch in providing evidence used to solve crimes. Scenes of crime personnel and those attached to the National Forensic Science Service are often limited in the time it takes to process a scene, but since the beginning of this week, they are being trained by technical experts on crime scene reconstruction. It's a training for crime scene reconstruction, specifically shooting scene reconstruction, which at any given time would involve the crime scene officers and may or may not involve a ballistics expert. So what we did is we got the ballistics experts from the laboratory along with crime scene officers to get this training. This training is to set a foundation for us to be able to properly process uh, shooting scene reconstructions or shooting scenes in the future. Um, it will require a lot more training than this, but this is kind of a foundation to build upon what was already learned and to start what we need to learn in the future. The training is being done through support from the iCrime project of the Central American Integrated Systems, SICA. That technical support comes in the form of ballistic experts from Spain, who today took the Belizean technicians out to the BDF shooting range to put the week-long skills they've learned to the test. Es dentro de, del programa de capacitación. Es un eh, trabajo de colaboración a través de FIAP eh, que se ha solicitado para que implantemos o implementemos pues, estas medidas eh, que permitan pues, trabajar con un escenario del crimen de una forma eh, rápida y eficaz. Debe ser un equipo lo más reducido posible pero necesario. No, no más de tres personas deben estar en un escenario. Lo que ocurre que lo que están viendo aquí están tres trabajando y el resto están invisibles. Están, están viendo lo que está haciendo el equipo. Assistant Director of the Forensic Laboratory of Belize, Ebony Leal Nicholas, says that the equipment used in today's exercise is the property of the government. She speaks on how proper equipment and knowledge adds to the investigative process for law enforcement. Now what this does is this helps to put together the story of what happened. So they will uh, study, study um, what we call external ballistics, or sorry, terminal ballistics. So uh, damages that the bullet has caused to determine what type of bullet may have caused it, from what distance the bullet may have been shot, where the person was standing, if there was a victim and the damage from the victim, what direction it came from, to basically put the story together, along with, of course, the information that's gotten from the investigation. Dwayne Moody for News 5.